everyone welcome to KD Fab Food Kitchens and as you can see today is not my usual baking video but I'm going to show you how to make a homemade hand sanitizer so my friend recommended me to make a video here on about this one so here I am today uh, not a lot of you may know that I'm a full-time pharmacist and um, but my passion is also wood baking as well so that's why a lot of uh, video making macaron etc but today we are going to make the um, hand sanitizer now this is very um, simple uh, Ingredients here. If you want to add into like essential oil, like a few drops of um, fragrance you like, you can if you want to. But this glycerin here will help you with softening your um, hands. So I do recommend you to add it on. But if you don't have it, that's fine as well. Um, this one here is the key ingredient to our hand sanitizer. This is the one that kills bacteria. So CDC recommend us to wash our hand with soap. Um, that's the superior way to um, kill the bacteria. But if you out and about and you can't um, access to um, hand and uh, water and soap, of course you can use a hand sanitizer. Now, important thing is you want to use isopropyl alcohol at least 91%. If you have 99%, perfect, this is better. But 91% is okay because once you dilute it into all of this ingredient here, it um, will be less than 99%, of course. So CDC mentioned that above 60% is, is also good to take care of some of the bacteria here. So therefore, um, I recommend at least 91% when you mix this hand sanitizer, so that's very important. Uh, we want to use the aloe vera gel here. So um, let's get started here. So you will need about two third cup of the alcohol here. So I'm going to measure in my uh, measurement cup here. So two third. We're going to add in here. Okay. And we will need about one third cup of aloe vera gel. So I'm going to add in. And we will add about one eighth cup of the uh, glycerin here. So one is all um, combined together, we'll then add into our container. So I'm using a recycled container here. Um, after so my soap, I'm gonna use our funnel here to transfer our ingredients in. So let's give it the last stir here. Make sure everything is in. We're gonna add in here. There you have it, your homemade hand sanitizer. And I do recommend that you wanna leave it out for three days before you use because we want to make sure the, the alcohol here will kill um, all any pore or any material that from the bottle um, before we use it, okay? So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, hit, uh, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.